for the sign of Pisces, hello and welcome to my channel. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and the person that you're involved with, we got the Seven of Cups. And it's paired with the Eight of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Cups, it's actually a card about choices. It can indicate confusion to the point of disorganization, having too much going on. There's a need to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well. So, usually when you get the Seven of Cups, you probably should choose just a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully. You Because with the Seven of Cups, you could start to feel overwhelmed. But just know that you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. Now, it's with this Eight of Pentacles, which points to necessary efforts. It's about having a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication is important, but make sure that you don't let it work for its own sake, because that can be counterproductive. So, it's important to be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance, because no one can or should work all the time. Now, this Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a very, very hard work period. And this doesn't have to be negative, but you have to be prepared for it. So, the recent past energy, Seven of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. So, whoever you're, you're involved with or dealing with, um, it looks like they have a lot of options, a lot of choices. And it looks like you put in a lot of work and effort and energy into the relationship. But this person, they still keep the door open. And you might feel, you might feel at times for this recent past energy, that you were the only one putting in all the effort. Yeah, because this Eight of Pentacles, it's all about work. It's all about having passion, motivation, and, and being inspired. So, yeah, it looks like you, I'm picking up for a lot of you, Pisces, that you were, you're involved with someone, but... The energy of the recent past is that they did a lot of juggling. Uh, they kept the door open. They have multiple choices. But you still have a lot of passion to keep this connection going. Yeah. So you still, you want it to work and you want things to happen for you and this person. So I'm picking up that you really like this person. Maybe it's a new connection, new relationship. And, um, yeah, they haven't really closed the door yet. They have other options. So you're inspired to maybe turn things around because you're working really hard. And like I said, for most of you Pisces, you're the one putting in all the effort and the energy. While this other person is, you, you know that they play the field. But that's the recent past energy. Let's see what's coming up. Now, for the first week of October, we've got the Lover's Card and the Knight of Wands. Now, the Lover's Card, oh, it's beautiful. It's actually associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the Twins. Now, it's possible when you get this card in a reading, you're feeling really ambivalent about a relationship or a situation. It could be that your heart will tell you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. But when you get the lover's card, it's saying it's safe to choose love. Because it's a time when love is 
brought to you in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So this could be a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Yeah, the lover's card is beautiful. Either way, you'll be really happy about how romance is going. Now, it's clarified with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, it's showing it's a great time for travel, if you can get away. You'll be feeling charged up, full of energy and ready to get things done. The Knight of Wands, this energy is um, has a lot of confidence, or the confidence is increasing. And it helps reach towards any goals. The knights, they are often about messages. And the messages are likely to be positive. Uh, any projects that you had, they're moving right along successfully. Or even better than you expected, hoped, or predicted. So, like I said, for... The present time, first week of October, lovers, and it's clarified by the Knight of Wands. So, Pisces, this with this lovers card, I can't help but feel that you're dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame, or you feel that this person is your soulmate. But it's with this Knight of Wands, so the Knight of Wands, it's an interesting energy. It's a fearless, brave type. This could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really confident type. Um, the Knight of Wands can be known as a player, really charming. Or it could mean that um, you got to... I'm getting a couple of storylines. You got a lot of love for this person who keeps the, keeps their options open. But you you got one foot in and one foot out. Because the Knight of Wands is about an in and out type of energy. Yeah, because you see that They've only got one foot in and one foot out, also, with so many options. So you try to stay level-headed, but you feel like this person is the one for you. Yeah, so, but you don't give it your all. You put a lot of work and effort and energy into the connection, but it looks like you might be trying to hold back. Or you might start to feel like you need to hold back. Because there's love there. Yeah, and you don't want to give it your all if this person that you're involved with is not doing the same. But you really like this person. Like I said, you see them as a soulmate or a twin flame. You could... With this lover's card, you could start to feel like you're falling in love. Yeah, because this lover's card is actually, it can mean falling in love. It can mean coming together. It can mean a deep union. So you're starting to really fall for this person. Yeah, you, your heart is getting invested. But you realize you need to pull back. So you start to just have one foot in and one foot out. Yeah, because this person, they keep their options open. Now let's move on over. And let's see what the challenge is. So we got the world card. And it's with this page of swords. So the world card is actually about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way. So... It's saying don't quit because you're really close. You could feel like you need some rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. Because you're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now when it comes to work, it could be a good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's important if this is the case, make sure you toot your own horn a little to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook 
your many positive accomplishments. Now, the Page of Swords, for you the word page in the tarot, the Page of Swords is a card above, below the word challenge. When you hear that word page in the tarot, that could be a student, that could be youth and maturity, or it could be someone that's younger than you. Now, it can stand for actual person in your life, and if this is the case, it will represent, like I said, maybe a person younger than you. But it indicates that there's some messages or a message coming in. Now, in this instance, because it's a page, and he's got a huge sword in his hand, the message may not be what you're hoping to hear. It, it does tell us that this person could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it might feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you might have to study the body language of this person and consider how well you do or do not accept criticism. Yeah, this Page of Swords has a great deal of mental and physical energy. But it's important to use it wisely. <clears throat> so the Challenge Pisces, the World Card, and Page of Swords. So... Your person, they might feel that you're, you're pulling back. Yeah. They can, they, they can feel that you're, you're holding back now. Yeah, because your, your heart is starting to get invested. So, this person with this page of swords here, your person, is telling me that they, they're starting to watch you more. And they're starting to keep tabs on you. Yeah, because the Page of Swords, they, they're the type that can bring conflict. They'll stalk and they'll watch you and they'll keep tabs on you. So your person's watching you. And it looks like, like I said, you, you realize you, you need to just have one foot in and one foot out or either. Because the World Card here. One foot in and one foot out. And because the World Card is here, you might be thinking about Ending the journey, closing the chapter with this person. You, you might be thinking about um, completing the cycle. I don't know if you've been with this person for a while. But yeah, it looks like those are your thoughts. And your person, they feel you pulling back. So they might start to do things to bring some conflict. Yeah, because they, they can feel your energy is is moving away. And you're not really in it like you once were. You're not putting in all that work, hard work and effort and energy into it anymore. So yeah, yeah Pisces, you're thinking about closing the cycle or ending a journey with this person. Because you see they still have options and your heart is getting invested. So this person they keep tabs on you. They can't figure out hmm, why the big change. At one one point they saw you putting in all the effort and energy, and now, like I said, you only got one foot in, one foot out, and they could feel you about ready to end this cycle with them. So they keep tabs on you, and they might start to. Reach out to you with some type of argument or conflict. So that's a challenge. Now let's see what the outcome is. We got this Ten of Wands and so the Two of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden because if you look at the card, Ten of Wands is the card above the word outcome. This man, he's actually walking forward, but he's about to fall backwards. So it feels like a there's some heavy burden here, and you may want to look hard at this just to see if there are any ways that you can you can lighten your load either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could find a part of the burden that you're carrying, 
it actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. Yes, yeah, so it's with the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles can be about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is really not your friend when you get into a pinnacles. So you might need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on maybe just two main priorities. Maybe your financial situation needs to be more balanced. So you might want to be sure you're paying attention there. So the outcome Pisces, Ten of Wands, clarified by this Two of Pentacles. So like I said, your person is ready to just bring some conflict because they don't like that you're pulling back. They like seeing you put in all the effort and energy. They like when you chase them. Yeah, they see you pulling back. They're not happy. They're ready to just start a fight or just bring some conflict. Or have an argument. So now the relationship, it feels like it's difficult. Yeah, it feels like a, a hard place in the connection. Because your heart is still there. Still in it. And your person is not happy because you're pulling back and you're starting to do silly things. Because they don't like your energy now. But it's interesting because the Two of Pentacles is here. You could feel like they're still juggling. Because the Two of Pentacles is a juggler. You could still feel like they're still back and forth. They're still juggling. They're still a two-timer. Or. You might. I'm getting another storyline. Or, if this is not them still being a juggler or two-timer or back and forth energy, if this is not them, this two pinnacles could be you. You could just switch the role or just switch the game and make like you're having trouble finding time and energy for this person. So you might just... Switch up the game. Or, like I said, this could be them. Still two-timing. Or you're just making like, or you, you're just finding it hard to make time for the connection. Just to switch things up. Because, like I said, you know this is a soulmate or a twin flame. You got love for this person. Or there's love here. Yeah, they, they could have a lot of love for you too. But for some reason, they liked when you put in all the effort and energy. You're pulling back. You're thinking about closing the chapter with this person. They're not happy. They're ready to pick a fight. So you make busy. And the relationship is just difficult right now. Very difficult, you know. Because like I said, this person is ready to bring conflict. And uh, there is love there. But they don't like that you pull it back. So that's the reading that I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. 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 When I post my next.